going on everybody? Uh, special day for us today. Uh, we actually want to share with you guys what we're actually having. We already know this. Uh, we've known for a little bit. But we just wanted to make sure uh, you know, we were sure with the anatomy scan and everything else before we kind of made it public. Uh, got a couple of things I got to do after this. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll do a quick video on how the air ride went on the W9. I'll give you a quick update on that. And what I also found out now is I stopped on the road at a TA truck service. Uh, you guys usually know that I don't mention names, but this one kind of pains me a little bit. Paid good money uh, for an oil change in the PM service. Didn't grease a damn thing on the drive shaft, or most of the grease fittings are bone dry, which I got to get up underneath there today and, and figure that out. But you know, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, you know, sometimes nothing you could do. All right, guys. Without further ado, cannons loaded. Not that one, you sick sons of bitches. That one over there. But you might not have got it. As you guys saw, and just in case anybody's colorblind, it was blue. <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, honestly. I'm just trying to also verbally say it, it was blue. We are having a boy. Uh, we are excited as all hell. Initially, it was a little bit weird because initially I wanted a girl and Veronica wanted a boy. But when we found out, she was the one that was a little disappointed that we were having a boy. And I was over the moon that I was having a boy. So I don't know whether... I had that mentality in my head and I was hoping it would be the other way around. I don't know, but uh, you know, honestly, as long as they're healthy, man, who cares what they are, you know? <laughs> she still puts up with me, you guys. I don't know how, why? Uh, but no, we, we are excited. Um, you know, I've, I've touched on this a little bit before, but not a whole lot. You guys know I've been lucky enough to have a lot of role models in my life, whether they were men or women. Uh, as far as men, you know, my uncles played a, a big role, but the biggest role I think was my grandpa and my dad. Uh, my grandpa from my mom's side and my dad, obviously my dad, but uh, 
those were I think the two biggest uh, role models to me and then my, my oldest uncle my dad's oldest bro older older brother was was a close third to that uh, and I think he's the reason why you know my love for trucks cars and bikes and anything with a freaking engine uh, which my mom is thrilled about let's just say that but my dad and my grand my grandpa are no longer with us uh, so our, you know, our son's name is going to be a, a combination of, of both and Veronica, Veronica is okay with it um, we still haven't decided which name is going to be the first name and the middle name and you know once obviously they're going to have to be Americanized uh, names of it uh, my, dad, my dad's name was Petrac, you know, Peter here uh, and he was named actually after St. Saint, Saint Peter uh, my grandpa's name was Nikolaj uh, Nikolai Nicholas uh, which after St. Nicholas so it's going to be a combination of both uh, we still haven't put the stamp down as far as like I said what name goes first and, and what name goes uh, for the middle name but uh, I'm relieved that Veronica is okay with it uh, obviously it's you know it's a, a, a decision for both it's it shouldn't be just one and the fact that she actually likes um, the names is, is a bonus and she's not just doing it just for me but, um, God willing the second one will be a baby girl uh, when when the time comes and we got a name picked out for her it's after her grandmother which which was a big uh, role model for her um, and you know life goes on I'm excited, scared, and everything else in between, I think, until until the day comes. Um, you know, trying to play it in my head of what I need to change, or but there's so many different things that I think, you know, obviously you guys that are, you know, fathers and mothers out there, you, you know better than I do. I think when, when the time comes, it's just a, I don't know, an instinct you have and you sort of pick up right there and then life goes on, right? But you know, hopefully, uh, Baby and Veronica are healthy, you know, through the whole pregnancy and afterwards. And, you know, fingers crossed, I don't lose my shit <laughs> in the meantime. All right, guys. Uh, so here's what's going on with the W9. Visors in, top lights are in, back lights are in. And as far as the air ride is concerned, so shocks are mounted, bags are mounted, it's everything is plumbed. Um, so what I did have to do on this is, did have to replace the bottom um, radiator hose along with the one that's way down there since it was already out it was a little rusted i figured now is the perfect time to do it before i put everything back which turns out to be a pain in the ass project anyway um, so now it's plenty away from the airbag there uh, the only thing i did have to do is on this on both sides so this bracket for the abs solenoid was flipped this way so i had to flip it inside make room for the uh, shocks here and then I did put it at an angle which would was the best to clear everything out and then uh, this used to be a 45 degree connection but I made it a 90 to right to uh, to let the airline route in the back here and then I put some uh, holes over top of that just so if it rubs with anything it doesn't chafe and then same thing with the airline for the airbag way over here just you know use some clamps and then the inside is obviously a, a, you know a plastic air hose but it's just got a, a rubber protection over top of it and then over this rain guard over here I just you know put some half inch isolator uh, brackets or clamps whatever you want to call them. I think they're called clamps same thing on this side uh, did the same thing with holes up here 
all the way down and then this is where I mounted the uh, solenoid and I you know painted over it just to touch everything up but um, so this is where the other airbag comes in and this is the uh, exit point one goes to the left airbag this one goes to the right airbag this is the so this is uh, the supply line here and then this is the just a, an exhaust so when you actually uh, take the air out of the system there goes my phone screen so when you take the air out of the system um, it has an exit point so instead of you can leave it open but I didn't want to leave it like this so I just plumbed it um, all the way back here to a, a point back there so it's not in the way of anything and it's not going to exhaust over anything so I uh, didn't really have to do uh, too much to the reservoir I actually left it alone uh, I did have to uh, unbolt it and just change the angle just a little bit to clear for the airbags or for the shocks I'm sorry and that's that but same thing with the bracket on this end 45 degree angle as well um, and then on the inside I'll show you guys here did have to do just a little bit of plumbing um, reroute just for to make room for that bag there does that so the springs this was a four leaf system um, I took two out initially and it wasn't going on uh, low enough which was gonna you know it would have been you know more absorption on the air on this on the leaf spring itself that I would like to have I, I'd like most of it to go through the airbag just maybe a little bit of softer ride uh, so I actually cut one of them in half and it's one and a half So, if you can see it there, but it's cut right underneath the axle there. And that's that. I don't have the key to get inside this damn thing, but the inside is still got it. I actually took apart the dash. Um, and I'm working on a couple of things. I'll actually start filming some stuff on this thing tomorrow. I'm actually taking a, a few days off next week to work on this. And now i'm pretty much on the inside the outside the only thing that's left over is you know obviously make the connections for the air gauge and the switches on the inside as far as the air ride is concerned and then just a bunch of uh, lighting connections but other than that you know it's, it's really not that big a deal and then uh the inside still you know the floor the dash everything else in between but and then when it's all said and done i'll put the bump around and, and the stacks i'm going to leave those for for last once everything else is is done and over with but tomorrow i'm going to start on the interior stuff i'm making uh my own brackets and such for just some watermelon lighting on the inside uh, so i got dual revolutions on the inside as well uh, most of the dash is going to be blue but i wanted some whites on there too because i know on the purple truck it's a pain in the ass uh with just having lighting on just the, the purple stuff on the inside um, and then obviously i got the bunk but i don't want to reach back there every time so uh, I'm gonna do some dual revolution red to white mostly for the white uh, but if I'm feeling you know red on the inside that day I guess I'll do red but also what I uh, need to do is I found out my tag is not working so great and uh, it's crap shit so now I gotta look for a tachometer hopefully I can find a, an aftermarket one and not uh, or a, a original one used because the aftermarket ones they're digital and it, they don't let you change the color uh, of the actual lighting on the inside because it's all enclosed unit and it's it's just white and i don't want to put everything else on blue and then those two white so what i may end up doing if i can't find that is obviously i'd have to get tack and speedometer which those things aren't cheap at all um, and then put all the gauges at uh just a, a super white or bright white color um, instead of blue that I had originally hoped for but fingers crossed I don't have to we'll see how it goes honestly man as always I just want to say thank you thank you to you guys for your support uh, you know I, I started this channel just as a you know I was on the road nothing to do and I figured that why not many others have done it I can do it as well but uh, you know obviously engaging with you guys in the comments and, and all that other stuff 
you know, between Instagram and, and uh, TikTok as well. TikTok I don't use all that much, uh, I'll be honest. But it, it feels like I have so many more friends. Up. I do want to say this. If you guys see me out on the road, I don't know, yell, throw a bottle at me or whatever the case is. You know, get my attention however you want. Um, I'd love to meet any of you. Um, if I have a little bit of time to spare, which I usually do. You know, we can uh, sit down, grab a meal, and, and shoot the shit, so to speak. But again, thank you so much. It uh, means a lot to me. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.